Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this part we will be creating our ball mechanics. So let's get started. So in our assets go to sprites folder. Right click create 2D sprites select circle. We are going to use this circle sprite as our ball scene. Now just drag and drop the circle in our hierarchy. Let's just rename it to ball. Then click on add component but first let's set its scale. I think 0.5 is fine. Then add component. Search for circle collider 2D. Select it. You can see green color border on our ball sprite. Then add component, search for rigid body 2D. Select it and set its gravity scale to 0. Then again add component, search for script machine and select it. So now we want the ball to bounce on the walls. For that, let's just set its gravity scale to 1 for now and see the results. As you can see, our ball sprite falls down and collides with the bottom one, but it didn't bounce. So in order to create bounciness, we have to create a physics material to the ball sprite. So in the assets folder, right click create folder and name it to material. Inside the material folder, right click create 2D physics material 2D. Let's just name it to bounce. Now in the inspector of physics material, we can see there are two options, friction and bounciness. Select the ball sprite from the hierarchy. Just drag and drop the bounce material in the rigid body 2D's material. Now let's set its bounciness to 1. As we can see, the ball sprite is bouncing at a constant height. So in order to decrease its heights every time it bounces, let's set its bounciness value to 0.9 and let's see the result. As you can see, our ball sprite bounciness decreases with every bounce. We don't need any friction, so let's set its value to 0. Now let's set its gravity scale to 0. Now in the script machine, click on new, go to scripts folder and save as ball. When we load this scene, we want the ball sprite to have a random direction with a specified speed value. So we will be working on the on start node. Connect it to rigid body 2D set velocity. Drag the XY axis and select create vector 2. Then right click, search for random range and select it. Let's set it minimum value to minus 10 and maximum value to 10. Duplicate the node by pressing Ctrl plus D. Connect it to X and Y axis of the create vector to node. This will set a random direction to our ball sprite. As you can see, our random direction for x-axis is 0.92 and y-axis is 9.24. So it is also getting a random speed, but we don't need that. We want to set its speed with a specified value. 
but first let's set our player's constraints freeze position and lock its x and z axis let's set our ball sprite's mass value to 0.2 Now let's just normalize our ball sprite by right clicking search for normalize and select vector to normalize and connect it to x and y axis of the rigid body 2d set velocity Now we can see the ball sprite is moving at a random direction with a speed of 1 unit If you want to know how normalization works then you can check out Freya Holmer's video. Now go to object create a variable name ball speed with a type of integer. Set its default value to 5. Now drag and drop the ball speed variable just below the normalize node. Then right click add node search for multiply. now connect normalize node to a and ball speed variable to b and its output to set velocity now we can see the ball sprite is moving in a random direction with a specified speed in the next video we will be creating a player score